Welcome to your practice. My name is Sandra. I am 20 weeks pregnant and my own practice looks quite different from what it did before. And I'm aware that most of you joining this probably aren't pregnant. Um, but I'm still pretty optimistic that this is going to prove valuable to you as well and a nice way to start your day too. So we start simple in child's pose. You want to come a little bit more towards the edge, uh, back end of your mat and allow the knees to be a little bit wider, draping your upper body down in between your thighs and just allow your forehead to rest on the floor including your elbows and take a moment here where you guide your breath a little bit more consciously into the back side of your body and maybe it feels nice to just gently wiggle a tiny bit in your hips from one side to the other before we come slowly to sit on our heels and if sitting on your heels proves difficult, you can always put um, a pillow or a folded blanket in between your thighs and, and calves. And then from here, I'm going to sit sideways so you see me. You want to round your spine. Head is heavy. Spread the shoulder blades wide. And as you inhale, slide your hands back towards your groins and lift your heart. Roll the shoulders back. Now as you exhale, Round your spine again, head is heavy, slide your hands forward towards your knees, inhale, reverse the curvature, lift your heart and stick your butt out a bit on your exhale again, round the spine in these sort of cat and cow moves. In your own breathing rhythm, continue a few cycles of breath, mobilizing your spine. And then from here, we come slowly back to upright and step our hands further to the front. And reaching our upper body down, forehead goes to the floor with our hips above the knees in mini dog. Reaching strongly through your arms and having your sit bones reaching high towards the sky. Feel the shoulder blades firming against the back rib cage lengthening both sides of your body from the fingertips through your outer arms and shoulders your side drips to the sit bones and then from here you slide your hands a bit back so we come to tabletop position hands underneath your shoulders knees underneath your hips step your right foot to the front Right hand pushes down on your knee, come to upright in proposal pose, reaching through your left fingertips. Now lengthen the tailbone down, lift your heart and draw the front foot and knee sort of towards one another. So we open the left hip flexor a little bit more, shoulder, right shoulder is relaxed. Bend your left elbow, get hold of your left elbow with your right hand and pull the elbow closer to the midline, so keep your gaze lifted. Elbow and hand gently resisting one another. And now flip flop your right foot halfway to the side, so the toes point 90 degrees to the sides, release your arms. Right arm being straight pushes the inner thigh open. Reach your upper arm, your left arm across the room into a gentle side bend over to the right. Spiral your chest up. Both arms are reaching. Tailbone is heavy. Take a deep inhale into your side body before you come slowly back to center. Place your hands onto the floor. Knee follows. And then another moment in puppy pose, mini dog. Reaching through your arms, sit bones reaching high. Forehead resting on the floor. Now slide your hands back again to tabletop position. Step your left foot to the front. Help yourself to upright, come all the way to vertical, reaching your right fingertips high. Lengthen the tail down. The front foot and knee draw sort of towards one another to get a little bit more precisely into your right hip. Bend your right elbow, left hand pulls the elbow closer to the midline, but hand and elbow are sort of resisting one another and your gaze is still lifted. 
Make sure you breathe. As you flip-flop your left foot halfway to the side, release your arms. Left hand is pushing the inner thigh open as you reach your upper arm across, your right arm across the room. Keep on lengthening the tailbone towards the floor. Spiral your chest up and reach through your right fingertips. Another deep cycle of breath opening the right side of your body before you place your hands down to the floor again. And into tabletop where you sink the navel down, lifting your sit bones, lift your heart in cow pose. Curl the toes under and keep the sit bones reaching as you step your hands further to the front, float the knees away from the floor into downward facing dog. And then let's do some walking moves, bicycling the legs. Let your whole upper body be part of this. Turn in your ribcage from one side to the other. Before we come back to center, the knees can bend so you elongate the lower spine a little bit more. And you keep on reaching the heels towards the floor, so pushing the balls of your feet down and back as your hands push down and forward. Now on your inhale, rock forward to plank pose, draw the navel in. On your exhale, lift the sit bones high and dog. Two more of those. Inhale, rock forward to plank pose. Exhale, sit bones move high, push the chest back, arms straight. Inhale, plank pose. Now lower the knees down, let the navel sink down and lift your heart in your upward facing dog. We'll keep the knees on the floor. If there's any pinching sensation in the lower back, then simply draw the navel a little bit in. And then from here, let's sink the right hip down, maybe gaze a bit back. Come back to center, then the left hip sinks down. And just an organic way of both opening the chest in this back bend, but also mobilizing the lower back. You might feel hopefully good sensation in there, otherwise you've got to skip this. Now come back to center for a moment, push your hands into the floor, broaden the collarbones, lift your heart. And then draw the navel in, slide your hands towards your knees as you curl the toes under. Come onto your knees, heels reach high, tailbone lengthens down and now bring your hands onto your sacrum. Lift your heart, roll the shoulders back and push your pelvis a bit forward in space in camel pose. Heels reaching high rather than flapping out to the side. Draw the navel in, bring your hands to the floor. Lift the knees away from the floor and let's meet in standing forward bend. Feet parallel, upper body drapes down. On your next inhale, push the feet down, lift your heart, sweep your arms out and up. Join the palms, exhale. A few half sun salutations, arms out and up on your inhale. Exhale, move the chest forward, the sit bones back. You can bend your knees halfway before you drape down into your standing forward bend again. Inhale, half standing forward bend. Elongate the spine and legs, shoulders roll back. Crown of your head is reaching forward as sit bones reach back. On your next exhale, soften down again. Your knees might want to bend. Now push the feet down, lift your heart, sweep your arms out and up, come to standing. Join the palms on your exhale. Sweep your arms out and up, inhale. And slowly drape forward with a long spine. Only halfway, you might want to bend those knees and drape down, let everything move round again. Come into a half standing forward bend. Elongate the spine as much as you can and now bend the left knee only. Left elbow can go to the knee or thigh. As you bring your right hand to the hip or reach your fingertips high. If you don't need to compromise, lengthen the back. You can bring the fingertips to the floor, of course. Let's gaze to the side rather than up to make sure that we don't tuck the chin, but the neck is elongated in line with the rest of the spine. And now lower down again. Knees bend, head drapes down heavily. On your inhale, half standing forward bend. 
establish length in your spine as you bend your right knee only, right elbow goes to the knee or fingertips to the floor and then open to your second side. Neck aligns with the rest of the spine. Roll the left shoulder back. On your exhale, lower down. Push the feet down, lift your heart, sweep your arms. Out to the sides and up. On your exhale, come to a twist to the right with your arms parallel to the floor. And your pelvis gently joins the twist. Turn your right palm to face the sky. On your inhale, lift your right arm above the head. And then gently soften at your elbows and push the air down. Sweep your arms out and up. And come to a twist to the left. <clears throat> Reaching through your fingertips. Left palm faces the sky. On your inhale, reach your arms above your left arm above the head. And gently softening at your elbows, push the air down. Now have a moment here in mountain pose. And feel the foundation of your feet from where you're pushing down and growing tall towards the sky. I thank you for joining. Have a nice day. Namaste.